Now then, welcome to my home. And today I'm gonna to go through everything that goes into my winter backpack. And that's not just what's inside it, but obviously what goes on the outside too. So join me and you will find out in detail exactly what kit you need for winter camping here in the UK. So a quick look at the backpack then. It's actually pretty awesome, very comfortable backpack. It has got everything that you'd ever expect from something of the this price because it is quite a pricey one to be fair um, but I absolutely love it very comfortable and at 55 litres you can fit absolutely everything you want in it so I'll just whip this off and then we'll go into it and we'll show you exactly what we've got inside so to start off with let's go through the big hitters that are on the outside of this backpack firstly a couple of ice axes now I've actually needed these a few times and um, there's been a couple of times when I've been out for a long run with blue and uh, I remember getting stuck on the top of Helvellyn and not being able to get onto Striding Edge because I had nowhere safe, safe there. I had nowhere I could get onto the uh, Striding Edge safely. If I'd have had a couple of ice axes at the time, it would have helped, and also a set of crampons, which I'll come to in a second. Um, but I just carry these. These are very, very lightweight ones. I think it's the lightest ones that Pets will do, um, but easy to use. And obviously, you can use them for all sorts of different things when you're on a mountain. Um, especially when you're sort of digging yourself in and uh, making camp for the night. So quite a good little bit of kit. So I've got two of these on the backpack, one on each side. You can actually, um, instead of having those, you could have some walking poles on the backpack. I'm not a walking pole man myself, but um, definitely uh, the backpack's good because it actually got the fixings for that. Um, the backpack itself is the um, Osprey Talon 55. 55 litres is a good size backpack for winter camping because there's plenty of space to shove all your kit. Nine times out of ten, I put all my winter stuff in a 40 litre backpack. But it does, just in case, you know, you need to sort of add those extra bits. It is not a bad size really, to be honest. But you don't need any bigger, definitely not. Um, so let's get to this front pocket. Now in here, if you are wild camping and it's thick snow, the other thing you might need is a set of winter snow pegs. So obviously these big things just got a wider surface area which uh, can actually sit in snow and uh, obviously keep your tent safe and sound rather than trying to get it into the ground because often the ground's frozen anyway and it's impossible to take a peg. So a set of these uh, pegs, not a bad shout. Um, if you are going really hardcore, then uh, often you need to dig yourself a um, place to actually Put your tent uh, so you have to take off a couple of foot of snow so this is the black diamond i think it's the deploy seven yes deploy seven you can get the smaller one of these it does actually fit in the back of this but the smaller one would fit better i feel a bit more comfortable because obviously it's got a little bit of sort of sharp edges which potentially are going to start putting through that bag but anyway a decent uh, shovel is good because then you can clear your space to pitch your tent So here we have a set of crampons. Now this isn't mountaineering, what we're doing here. This is just wild camping and just making sure that you're safe in most scenarios. So these crampons, they are just a, a set of ones that will go over any sort of boot um, and just give you some decent grip. Fairly decent spikes on those, um, but I definitely would carry these. There's been a couple of times where I've sort of been stuck just in my fell running shoes, which are actually really slippy on ice. Uh, where I could have just done with a set of these. I've actually got some micro ones which are pretty good and those are the ones I generally carry when I'm running. So anyway, right, let's get into the gubbins of this backpack then. So I'll just lay this down. So at the bottom of here you've got a couple of uh, straps which you can use for a um, foam mat and then the zip section at the bottom. Now people call this the sleeping bag um, compartment but I prefer to put your sleeping bag dry away in the main section and then here, this is the bit that you need the fastest out, just unzip that and then straight away you've got your tent. So definitely take a four season tent if you're out in winter conditions. Um, this is the Fell Raven Abisco Light One Tent. I swear by this, it's actually done me really well in its time. Um, and then to go with this, depending on weather, I sometimes carry some of these uh, pegs which are absolutely awesome. They are called the Delta Ground Anchors. 
So these are designed so when they're actually in the ground and the tent's pulling on it, as it's pulling it's actually pushing it deeper into the ground so they're pretty good in high winds. So if it's windy, take a few of those. I'll generally take four, sometimes I'll take six. I've got my uh, baby bag from Alp Kit, which is the Hunker baby bag. Now what I do with this is I just put it over the top of my um, down sleeping bag just to give it a bit of extra protection from the dog and obviously from uh, moisture. So it, it works pretty well does that one because it's only lightweight. Um, also quick accessible to my waterproof bottoms. I've, you've seen these in a couple of videos already. So that's everything in the bottom of the bag. Um, also, I always have a carabiner on my uh, backpack because then you can just clip your tent to it, especially in high winds, just to stop it blowing off the mountain because it soon makes an expensive uh, kite. Right, so let's get into the main part of this. I'll just flip this over. A couple of clips. Undo this draw cord. And then inside, pretty much a boring one, but this is my uh, bag that I store my food in. It's just a little sack. Um, one thing I would say about food is, especially on winter adventures, sometimes there's scenarios where you can't actually boil any water, um, so these things become useless because you can't actually eat them. So great if you were in better conditions, but you just never know. So for safety, I always carry um, one that's actually ready to eat as well, just to give you a little bit extra. Obviously, if you're out for a two or three days, you'd carry more food with you. Um, next up, we have my cooking kit. So this is my gas stove um, and obviously a couple of pans and my cup which I use. Next up I have my sit mat but um, this generally goes in the entrance of the tent just so I can kneel, in, in, <laughs> kneel on it as I'm getting in and out of the tent um, but it's actually for the dog to sleep on as well. So it's a, an old sort of um, uh, army mat which I've cut down just to suit uh, the right size for the dog really. And then, a bit of camp comfort. I do not like going on a camp without a decent chair. Um, you've seen this in some of my other videos. This is the Trekker chair by Thermarest. And um, quite a simple bit of kit. It just adds to your actual Thermarest sleeping mat, uh, just to turn that into a chair. But the best thing about it is, you can use this inside your tent. There's not many chairs you can actually use in that way. So, brilliant bit of kit. I know a lot of you have already bought that because of me, so... Anyway, into a massive dry bag. So in here, obviously these are more important pieces of uh, kit which need to be kept dry. Um, starting with uh, another dry bag. I just like to keep things separate so that everything's not getting tangled with each other. And then in here I've got my clothing. Firstly, a set of Rab hot socks. And these are just an insulated sock which are really good for when you get into your tent, especially if it's cold and you need to keep your feet warm. So just pull these out of here. And that's all it is, just a simple, thick insulated sock just to put on. And these are great because you can obviously put them on and use them to get inside your sleeping bag. They've got a little bit of a harder material on the bottom, so if you did need to get out in the night just to go to the loo or whatever, um, as long as it's dry, uh, it won't be a, a, a problem to actually just walk a few steps out just to go to the loo. Um, so that is some hot socks. Definitely take socks with you though for winter camping. Um, this is a second pair of gloves that I would carry with me. And these are the Rab Quantum Pertex gloves. And again, once you're in your tent, it's just a great thing to have some nice warm gloves to put on just to keep keep uh, to get you warm if you've been out in the cold all day and as you can see it's just a set of simple mittens but these are absolutely great bit of kicks are very packable um, and you don't even notice them in your bag that so you know it actually fits in my fist there so next up so firstly a woolly hat you've got to have a woolly hat with you and it's always my tip that I say to people, if you have a woolly hat for sleeping with at night, you can just drop this down over your eyes. And then as soon as you've got that like that, the lights out and you sleep better. Um, so that's my top tip that I've said before. 
and then a set of some sort of a leggings and long sleeve top. So these are actually a, a thermal sort of insulated layer. Um, these are made by Cougar, which I think is a rugby brand. Anyway, they are absolutely brilliant to keep my uh, legs and upper body warm, um, especially when you're getting into a sleeping bag. It's absolutely brilliant to have um, just a layer to put on. So if you're sort of sticky from the day. The man body is usually defined as the physical structure and material substance of an animal or plant living or dead. The verb body is usually defined as to invest with or as with a body. I'd like to get to know you. That way I know who's speaking and can personalize your experience. Is this Al? Yeah, it's Al. Oops. I'm still learning to tell who's who. Alexa, can do we do this later, please? I'm just busy at the minute. I missed that. Can we if do this? consent, say yes. No. If not, say cancel. Cancel. Cancelling. How did she come into the conversation? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, where was I? Comes on to the next bit. Um, I sometimes carry this with me. Um, and this is a sleeping bag liner. And it's super comfortable. Um, and in a way, it works very similar just having your set of uh, sort of leggings and a top. Um, just because you can get inside a really nice, comfy uh, sleeping bag liner. Uh, but again, I absolutely swear by that and uh, this actually adds an extra few degrees of um, your rating of your sleeping bag. So definitely something to consider. Uh, there's a couple different levels of this. This adds a few degrees. There's the extreme one which adds a, a few extra more. So definitely worth checking out. Um, next up, this is absolutely essential for me on any sort of a even in summer, but I always carry some sort of jacket with me. Um, this is a down jacket by Mountain Equipment. So I'll just get that out. And obviously it packs pretty small, but once you uh, get a bit of air to it, it's just a brilliant jacket to put on and keep you warm. Um, so that's definitely a piece of kit that you need to carry. Next up, sleeping system. This is the Thermarest. Neo Air X Therm. So it has got a very, very high R value, this one, um, which is really good for if you are um, sleeping on very cold ground, if it's frozen or whatever. Um, so hopefully you don't transfer any of your body heat down to the floor. So um, it's just a really good way of keeping you warm. Um, but yeah, fantastic that mat. Um, I've got a few, oh God, I must have about eight therm rests now but um, that's the one that I would use for any serious winter wild camping. Um, next up we have my sleeping bag. So this is the Rab Neutrino Endurance 600. So absolutely awesome bit of kit this because it is definitely one that packs small and it keeps you very warm. So even with a small pack size, once you pull this one out, it locks so well to this sleeping bag. So once it gets a bit of heat to it, it's absolutely brilliant. Um, this comfort rating of this one is um, minus three. Uh, the comfort limit is minus nine and a half. So for the UK, pretty much this will do you all the way through. Um, I've got a couple of other sleeping bags which are actually um, uh, a higher rating on the comfort rating there um, but nine times out of ten in winter I'm absolutely fine with this one I do sleep quite hot myself anyway so and I think left in here oh, another bit of comfort the last thing and that is my sea to summit pillow so this thing is absolutely brilliant as you can see absolutely tiny pack size and then all you do is one and a half breaths, ready? And there we go. That is the uh, pillow that I use. I use all year round um, and I'm a side sleeper so it's quite essential to have a pillow if you're a side sleeper. If you're laying on your back it's not too bad but my bit of comfort I wouldn't be without that, definitely not. So that's absolutely everything in the main sections of my bag. Um, on the side pockets here I've just got my pole for my tent um, and also 
which I've not filled up obviously, but I've got um, my water carrying methods. So I use the Hydropack uh, little bottle usually, um, which absolutely brilliant, but the big bottle that goes with it, this is two litres, um, I, with my water filter, I just filter water into that and obviously as I'm walking around this just gives me something that on the go just so I can have a drink as I'm going so good bit of kit and um, the lids on this are interchangeable as well um, this one is the original one for that bag but that's just a stock lid um, and then sometimes I'll transfer this one on which has actually got a bite valve on so that's pretty good because obviously you can drink straight out of it so that's what we're in there so I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll take you onto my table and I will um, show you what goes in the lid of my Osprey Talon 55 backpack. So next bit of kit, which is uh, one that you need to be able to access quickly just in case, and that is a decent light. And this is um, a head torch by Phoenix. It is the HM65R head torch and it is a brilliant piece of kit, very bright and this will get you off any mountain. Um, and the battery's got a really long battery length life as well. So, I mean, you can, there's two different bulbs on it. And as you can see, I mean, look at that, super bright. Um, but anyway, I'll go through this at a later date when I'm actually using it, but it's awesome bit of kit. Um, and that actually comes um, in a pack now. They're just doing a special Christmas edition. So if you fancy buying this for your partner or you want a, a decent head torch for Christmas, um, ask your partner to buy you it because currently it comes um, in this box here and it's got um, a small light that comes with it it's just like a little light that you can actually clip onto your cap just having your tent it's just a little light just to get around uh, at night uh, and that's their special Christmas deal so check that out there is a link below to this so um, have a look at that and also to be honest I actually get a little bit of kickback from this but um, it's something that I totally swear by anyway uh, I know plenty of people who've got this uh, actual lamp and um, they've used it and they say it's brilliant and uh, I've got to say uh, even on my bike or running or anything it will still show um, enough light in front of me when I'm travelling fast so a brilliant bit of kit. Let's pop that down. So next up I have a couple of batteries. So this is just a, an anchor battery and then I've got this one as well wrapped up. And this is a pebble. <laughs> uh, I can't remember the brand of that, but um, anyway, a couple of batteries just to make sure that I've got um, uh, ways of charging all my kit, including that head torch and um, you know cameras, other lights, things like that. Um, we have now. This is to go with my cooking kit. Um, I've got a gas stove in there actually, but this is the winter um, four season one from GSI. So a tiny little bit of kit there um, and it's got like a preheating method so obviously it's just warming the uh, gas before it actually starts to burn so it actually works better at cold conditions. So that is a gas stove, <laughs> quite important one I'd say for most things just because you never know when you're going to need it and that is a Swiss Army knife. Everything on there you'd ever need. Um, sometimes scissors are a good thing to have. Obviously a blade is a knife. Uh, but things like just a set of tweezers, you know, um, bottle opener, um, everything really. So definitely worth carrying a, um, a Swiss Army knife. So we have a long spoon. This is a titanium one by Life Adventure. Still got a bit of food on it from the last time I used it. Another essential, especially if you're out on the mountains. Uh, when the clad comes in, you can't see where you're going, at least you can get a bit of direction and that's just a compass. Um, what other tools do we have? I have got a knife here, this is a book knife and I can't remember the name of it, but um, it's just a, a simple one because you can get it out one handed which is good, especially if you're messing about doing something with this hand, uh, cooking wise or something, you can just get that out. Um, but great little bit of kit it's actually got a bottle opener on this so if you do take a, a glass bottle into the mounds which isn't advisable you still can open them um, and obviously this has got a belt clip as well which is good so another brilliant knife to carry always have a knife on you then we have an extra spoon 
and fork, which I always carry. And uh, in one of my videos, I actually lost my spoon in the tent and I couldn't find it. Luckily, I had a spare. I found it by the morning though. Let's get that down. This is the stand for a gas canister. Um, and it fits both sizes, this one, which is good. Um, just to give a bit more stability so you're not gonna risk uh, your stove falling over and then potentially burning your tent down. So a little bit more stability with that. Um, we have another torch. This is a bike light. And uh, this one is super bright as well. And um, again, a bit of safety, just having an actual torch to get you off the mountain. If that head torch fails, I've always got this to rely on. And that is super bright. This is the uh, trowel, um, the deuce number two uh, by the tent lab. Uh, so that is my digging tool just for toilet duties. Uh, and also, you know, if you actually pitch in your tent and there's just something that's in the way that's sharp and potentially going to um, cut the uh, bottom of your tent, you can dig it out with this. It gives you something to actually dig with rather than just using your hands. So another good little bit of kit to carry and it weighs nothing. My little possibles bag. In here, one of the main ones, I've got my filter, my water filter, which is the Soya Mini. Brilliant bit of kit, use that a million times in all my videos, I'm sure you've seen it already. Um, my tent light, so this is light number three. Again, this is the Phoenix or Phoenix um, CL26R. I love this light, absolutely brilliant. And the good thing about this light is, the battery for this fits the, this one, exactly the same battery. So if you were struggling and you, you need to get off the mountain and then this died, you've always got this as a spare. So these two together are brilliant, worth buying. Let's pop that down. Some paracord, not a bad thing just to carry with you just in case, you might be able to strap yourself up with it. Um, a striking method for lighting anything, I'll always be able to light a fire, I would say. And then, again, some uh, matches there, some all-weather matches. So that's everything that I have in that top section. So if we go into this now, inside, this is just more sort of my toiletries and things that I need to keep, keep a bit safer. So patches for my Thermarest pad, because you do not want your pad to fail if you're out there. And if it does, at least you've got a chance of getting it to um, uh, blow back up again. Tissues, toilet roll and a couple of wipes. My first aid kit, and I've kept that in a waterproof bag, obviously for keeping uh, everything in there safe. Let's uh, put my space for all this. And then I have a wipe for any moisture that's on the tent or anything you can at least uh, just mop it up and get rid so that's just a a mini towel really so the last bit is my toiletry bag so in here i have mini toothpaste i have a toothbrush which is a full one chopped in half you can see that <laughs> it's a little bit lighter eh um a tiny pot of Vaseline, which uh, is great just to put on your lips, especially in cold weather. Um, also, Vaseline is good for lighting fires if you're desperate. Um, there is a couple of paracetamol, which I've also got some of those in my um, first aid bag. And then the last thing in there is a couple of earplugs, just uh, in case it is windy and your tent's flapping about. So that is it, pretty much everything that goes in my bag. quick look over all this kit first at the sleeping bag we've got the rab neutrino endurance 600 sleeping bag with the aeros pillow by sea to summit i've got an osprey talon 55 backpack a pair of gribble crampons which are quite essential if you're out in it and it's snowy and icy definitely need that grip 
Um, if you need to dig out just to fit your tent, this is the Deploy 7 Shovel by Black Diamond. A pair of Petzl Ice Axes. And these are the Ride model. So you might need those just to sort of keep uh, safe when you're getting yourself up onto the mountain or coming back down again. Six Fellraven they are, um, snow pegs. You might need those if it's super snowy and if it's really windy. These are the Delta ground anchors. Definitely worth a shout those in any windy conditions. My bag of food. And a way to cook the food, which is my GSI Soloist kit. And then this is the Alp Kit Hunker bivy bag, which I just used to cover my sleeping bag, just to protect it from uh, the dog a bit as well. Tent wise, decent for this season tent. This is the Abisco Light One from Fell Raven. So I've got my Thermarest Neo Air X Therm sleeping mat, and that's a 25 inch wide one. Um, and this is the trekker chair that goes with that. So it just turns the mat into a chair that I can use inside my tent and outside. I've got my water system, which is two Hydro Pack bottles. One's the Seeker, two litre, and then there's loads of different Hydro Pack bottles you can use. Underneath that is a mat, which I use for the dog. My waterproof bottoms, a spare pair of gloves, which are the Rab Pertex Quantum Mitt. Um, and they are the Prima Loft material um, inside, which means they're quite packable. And this, that is exactly the same as these Rab Hot Socks. Woolly hat, spare pair of dry clothes, my down jacket by Mountain Equipment. And then finally here, we have got the Sea to Summit Thermolite Fabric Reactor. And that is the sleeping bag liner. So there we go, tons of kit. So there we go, that is my winter wild camping kit. I don't think I've forgotten anything, but um, there might be the odd item. But anyway, hopefully you guys uh, have seen a couple of items here that you might be interested in. If so, um, click on the description and there will be a link to pretty much every item here. Uh, if you purchase anything on that website from the link that you clicked on, uh, then I will get a little bit of kickback from that as well. So that'll be greatly appreciated. So. Anyway, um, I look forward to getting out and using all this kit this winter. I'm going to make some absolutely epic videos. You know the style that I do already and you know that it's going to be uh, pushing the limits of, uh, of uh, what we can do in this country. So hopefully it's going to be plenty of snow and I can get out in it and enjoy that. So um, yeah, subscribe and you can get, get uh, first dibs on these videos when they come out. Anyway, please give it a big fat thumbs up this video um, and just all of you stay safe out there buy some of these items just to help you stay safe buy some of these items just because um, it helps you uh, be comfortable out there as well so anyway we will uh, see you another day if you see me on a mountain anytime come and say hi but um, for now take care guys that is just amazing isn't it oh my legs